Welcome back to another Pixel for Life lesson. We're here with part two of our uh, inking and cartooning the fish intermediate level. And um, we're going to go ahead and simply continue on with the paths here. So first of all, I want to go ahead and do these fins. So I'm just going to start here and drag down to the bottom of the fin like so. Make sure to hold down Alt when you click on that there to get rid of it. And then I can finish up the fins like so. We're going to stroke the path, hit OK, delete path. Same thing over here. Stroke that path, hit OK, delete the path. <clears throat> then we have this little fin here, do the exact same thing. Only starting up a little bit further. Like so. Path, hit OK, delete path. Now we need to go here and choose our brush tool. We'll downsize that to about 10. Maybe even smaller, we'll go with 5. Then we'll use a tool here to go like so. Stroke path, hit OK, delete path. And our last fin there. Stroke path, delete path. That looks good. Now we need to do the smile because it's a smaller size anyway. So we're going to start here and bring it all the way up. Oh, like. that, we can stroke that path, hit OK, and I need to make sure I have my color set right, stroke path, hit OK, delete path, and then we need to do this big line going down here, and that's going to definitely be 10 pixels. Start there, zoom out here. All the way down to the bottom. Stroke path, hit OK. Delete the path. And all we have left now is the eye. <coughs> and the eye we're actually going to do separate um, all by itself, so we don't even have to worry about that yet. So we've now completed the inking, so let's go ahead and move on to the coloring. Um, it's really simple to color this, uh, this character. Little window workspace, default workspace. And uh, simply create a new layer called color. And then go ahead and grab the uh, magic wand tool here. Change the tolerance to 100. And then we can grab the color we want to use, which I've decided I'm going to make a clownfish, so I'll make it orange. Like so. And I can actually hide the background uh, uh, layer if I'd like. 
and this color layer I'm actually going to drop beneath the ink lines so that I can then control click that layer or command click that layer if you're on the Mac like me go to select modify and expand it by two pixels hit OK and then go to edit and fill hit OK and now you'll see we won't have all the little white edges and any of them that we do have left over we can just paint in like I'm doing now and this is starting to look pretty good so let's go ahead and focus on the eyes now and what we want to do with those and I'm going to create a new folder in here called eyes <clears throat> grab the lip, uh, lips tool here make sure we're on uh, shape layers go ahead and drag out this like so make sure that's set to black or fairly dark color I, I'm just going to use black but you don't have to go ahead and put the eye where you want assuming it's looking somewhere which mine's going to be sort of shaped like so and then you're going to create a new layer here so make sure to create um, uh, make change the color to white and then you can change that uh, sorry I need to make sure to put it on its own separate section here and I'm not quite sure why that's doing that but we can go ahead and just create a new layer and do it then and it'll be fine that way Make it a little bit smaller. <laughs> and <clears throat> if we go back to the actual eye, you can see here they have theirs up in the top corner, so I guess we should do the same thing, shouldn't we? Like so. And with that, I'll conclude this lesson, and I'll see you guys in the future ones.